So I am wanting to talk a little bit more about this whole calories and and this thing about us women needing to drop the calories in order to lose the weight. And what I'm learning with this ketovore carnivore diet, we don't need to starve. We don't need to starve. The thing is, from what I'm learning, this is me learning and and telling you what I'm learning. So not professional, nothing. This is my own experiences and what I've been learning from the professionals. <laughs> if you bring down your calories levels to like say 1200, 1500, so that you're in a calorie deficit, so that you'll lose the weight that you're wanting to lose, your metabolism goes, oh, less food coming in. We better slow the metabolism down to level out the lack of calories coming in. You just slowed your metabolism down. So then when you're done dieting, done starving yourself and going friggin' hangry crazy, you start eating back the amount of calories. You bump it up to 1,800, 2,000, normal amount of calories, and your metabolism is down here still because it slowed down when your calories were at 1,500. It went and then you bumped your calorie intake back up and your metabolism is like, um, and guess what? This difference means fat weight, fat, fat, fat gain again. And, and you tend to gain more weight than you did before. So how the hell do you get out of this crazy circle? This is where I am so friggin' excited about this carnivore ketovore diet. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. It's for life. This thing, you're never hungry. You don't need to starve. And no, no, I know, I know, no carbs, minimal carbs. But when you eat carbs, you feel so, ugh, your guts feel terrible, you feel bloated, you feel foggy brain, all this stuff. When if you just ate more protein and especially, especially more fat, 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 your, your, your energy picks up, the fog clears, and the weight drops because your metabolism is, learn, is, is, is equipped with what it needs, being all the nutrients from the protein and the fat as its energy source, which is its best energy source. source. So fat fuels best. It fuels much better than carbs from what the experts on carnivore and ketovore have been telling me. So if you are fueling your body with the optimal foods, proteins and fats, and, and in their natural state, not in the boxes of fake stuff, your body's gonna function better on all levels, all levels, mentally, emotionally, emotionally. Oh my goodness, your hormones are gonna balance. Guess what hormones need? Fat, good fat. They need saturated fat in order to level out. So menopause <laughs> that's coming in my future, I should walk through that. It should be a breeze. It should be. We will see what happens because I am eating lots of saturated fat and I should not get the hormonal imbalances and craziness and hot flashes that is so common. We don't need to starve to get fit and to look good. I am running around 2,200 calories a day. I'm doing about two, sometimes three workouts a day. They're hot, fast workouts between half an hour to an hour. And I am eating basically two meals a day um, with lots of protein and lots and lots of fat. But in the mornings, I do have a bullet coffee, which is whipping cream, <laughs> butter, and I definitely get my salt. You definitely want electrolytes when you're on this type of food, diet, lifestyle. I don't take naps anymore. I have done that since I was 14 years old. I've had to have naps. Could not get through a day without naps. I'm not bloated anymore. No bloated. I feel, 
how would you explain it? I feel tight. My stomach feels tight and, and uh, I've had four kids, four kids, people, and my stomach is tight and lean and I'm, I'm right now, the more fat I eat, it seems to be the more my body composition is leaning out and I am looking better and better in front of the mirror with this diet. So stoked. Um, I know I'm definitely no expert in this at all, but this is what I'm experiencing for myself, researching the carnivore ketovore diet, trying out the different things that they suggest, seeing what works for me, what doesn't, hearing about women that we don't need to starve. We don't need to have our hormones. It doesn't need to be that way. We just got to eat the way, for, for what I believe, the way we were meant to eat. Um, that's all I'm going to say on this. Definitely give me feedback. Uh, ask me questions. Um, critique me. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>